so yes, they have slightly genetically modified wolves, maybe. Um, and that's probably the best that you're going to get. And those slight modifications seem to have been derived from retrieved direwolf material. Does that make it a direwolf? No. Does it make a slightly modified gray wolf? Yes. <laughs> and that's probably about it. When, when you claim all these great big things and then you don't provide the associated evidence, especially in something as controversial as this, that is a massive red flag. It suggests that, well, at, at best, they've over-exaggerated. Uh, at worst, they're lying through their teeth. We don't, we don't have the technology to modify entire genomes. We can modify po components of genomes, and we can certainly sequence genomes. But the fact that fossil evidence, unless it's only recently extinct and very essentially not been degraded for very long, this is why sort of the Jurassic Park concept is even more fantastical, because we're talking about tens of millions of years between deposition of the individual and finding the fossil. So the, 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 the DNA degradation would mean that if you could get a few base pairs out, you're doing well. And that would, you can, that's not enough to create an entire genome. Where do you put them? I mean, this is one thing that seems to be completely lost on the de-extinction people is that, let's say that even you, you managed to bring back a sufficient number of mammoths or dire wolves to create a viable population. This is important because you need thousands of completely genetically diverse individuals in a population for having any chance of surviving into the future. The whole Adam and Eve concept that we create two and they can just go on and do their own thing. Now that's called inbreeding depression. And, <laughs> and then things die very quickly. You know, most introductions of most species fail over 99%. Why? Because there's a few individuals that inbreed themselves out of existence. And this is the same with respect to um, in humans, it happens in humans, it happens in mice, it happens in, in the smallest individuals.